out. Zip tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thank you very much. What a great comeback story for Derrick Rose. His resilience over the years of injuries has been rewarded. He says everybody struggles. People pretend like they don't. My down days were on TV, so I couldn't hide. The whirlwind I was in, I always stayed calm. I think that's just part of who I am. It's my character. Kevin? Good insight there, Dave. Thank you. And a look at the recent power rankings. Some interesting stories here in the early part of December. A look at Chicago. They're moving on up. Fourth spot in the rankings this time around. And right now for Philadelphia, they've sure made a statement here early on. Outpacing some teams that were expected to be better. Owning that top spot and defending it with pride. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the three slot. And for the Pistons, we've got Jeremy Grant lovely out there with Griffin. Then there's Derek Rose. And it's Makai Luke in at the two guard. So Detroit will get the first possession. Grant outside. Back to Rose. Passes it to Griffin. Pistons passing it around. Poked away and stolen by Feibel by himself. Throws down the breakaway jam. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Detroit Pistons. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. Now here's Griffin. He's coming off a 34-point game against Atlanta. Just five to shoot. Ball's knocked loose. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Here's Simmons. A 32-point game for him in the win against Boston. Yeah, and his big night wasn't limited to his offense. His steals numbers were way up there, and it was a special night for him in just about every way. Here's Mikhailu. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Now the feed to Rhodes, and he makes that one. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. Is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. The pass to Plumley kicks it to Grant. And here's Rose. Outed by Simmons. Six to shoot. Rose against Harris. Rose, no good. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Plumley finds Rose with some arc, and it's good on the way up. Rose has got his second basket of the game. Man, he has come out focused and efficient. Love what he's doing at the offensive end. And the shot goes in from MB. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Here is Rose after the made shot from Joel MB. Rose surveying the D. It's stolen by Green. Harris with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. And slam dunk by Harris. Beautiful handles by Tobias Harris. A tough cover off the dribble. So it's the Pistons now. Six-point game. Rose with the ball. 
14 points from him the last game against Atlanta. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. And Detroit with another turnover here. Seven, six, six, and with the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard showing us this month's top passers. Fifth on the list, Ben Simmons really been in sync with his teammates over that period. I mean, his passing has been phenomenal. And Green gets it to go. And how about the start they've gotten off to? They haven't missed once. Pistons trail by nine. Got a piece of it. Embiid with the steal. And Embiid throws it down. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Detroit Pistons. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit. But at the end of the day, he does get it done. And the numbers speak for themselves. The Embiid's an outspoken guy, which can invite a lot of criticism. A moment here to see the numbers for Mason Plumley. Last season's performance for him. He was around seven points a game last year. Five rebounds and two assists. And for a reserve big man, not a big drop off when he checks in the game. Totally. You want your team to at least hold court when the reserves come in. He definitely keeps you solid up front. The Pistons have gone 2-3 or three here to start out the game. Simmons again throws. Pass to Grant. They get a hand on it. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. Oh, oh that no. was something else. That was nasty. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Detroit with the ball. 76ers getting the bucket. Here's Griffin. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. When he gets ahead of steam, Blake is pretty good. He is super aggressive on those type of plays. And Simmons slams it in. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Here's Rose. 76ers getting the bucket. Griffin kicks to Rose. Plays it up and banks it in. Rose has got his third basket of the night. The 76ers leading by 15. Embiid inside the line. And basket is good. The assist from Harris. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Rose against Simmons. Here's Griffin. An easy two points on the layup. You know, it's not just the power of Griffin. It's the skill set. Reliable inside. Here's Embiid again, Philadelphia. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. And here's Rose. He's got six. left to the wing down to five on the shot clock the Pistons need to get off a shot here here's Grant and he banks in the layup nice pass by Derrick Rose spotting a wide open guy from the corner of his eye there's a minute 47 left here in the first quarter knocks down the three ball Simmons, Simmons got seven points in the game Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Outside Rose. Up top Griffin. Harris with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Jumps up. And 
slam dunk by Harris. How about the activity of Simmons mucking up passing lanes and making life difficult on the opposition? So good at getting steal. Pistons trail by 20. Outside Rose. He feeds it to Plumley. Just his first attempt. Rebound by Joel and B. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. And how about Embiid putting the versatility on full display? How many other bigs can do that? Here is Rose. Six points for him. There's 48 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. And he gets the bucket. Nine points in the game so far. How about he has yet to miss 4-4. Four, four to start there's 42 seconds left to play here in the first nabbing another steal and that's his sixth steal of the night imposing oh yes goodness you can't let simmons get going off of these dunks his confidence just soars when he slams it down like that for Detroit, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. Very solid start for them. And here we go, 76ers running again. And it's Green with the jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Harris against Griffin. Pass to Makai Luke. And now, Philadelphia on the break. A three ball. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Big time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be right back after this. And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about, you know, what I need to focus on. And with social media now, Greg blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. Ben Simmons. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the 76ers, Howard is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Ben Simmons. Then it's Curry, and it's Green in at the three, the small forward. Dishes it to Curry. 76ers moving the ball around. Embiid, the pass to Curry. From the arc, another three for Philadelphia. And there it is again. They get careless with the basketball, and immediately it costs them. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Grant against Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Grant surveying the D. No good with the elbow jumper. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Curry's shot is good. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. 
You see the confidence running through this team right now. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. For the Pistons, rebuild has been a dirty word. But with all their injuries last season, staying in the playoff picture was out of the cards. This summer, with their highest draft pick in a decade, Motor City is hoping it will be back in the fast lane soon. Guys? Building up that talent base. Thank you, David. Here's Milton. And that one is stuffed right through. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Passes it to Okafor. On the wing, Jackson. They need this one. He takes it up and lays it in. Jackson's got his first points of the game. I tell you, at 6A, Jackson is a more than capable scorer on the inside. Great at getting close to the rim and just finishing with the soft touch. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. The pass to Okafor. Back to Hayes. Pass to Jackson. Now, right, five to shoot. Shoots over Curry, and it's right missing. Philadelphia's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Embiid inside, guarded by Wright. And now the Pistons, fast break. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Philadelphia's gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight, they've gone five for five. Curry, good. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Another three for Philadelphia. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Green with the ball. Now right defending. Another three for Philadelphia. The defense a step slow and you can see the results. The Pistons have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And it's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. On Friday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Sunday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's Wright. He's coming off a 10-point game against Atlanta. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Green against Jackson. And Green with the basket on the assist by Curry. Green's got 15. I love the elevation Danny Green gets on his jumper. Makes him tough to defend from distance. The Pistons have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Curry with the steal. Fast break, Philadelphia. Here's Howard, and Howard slams it home. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Knocked away and stolen by Howard. Curry dishes to Howard. From deep three-point range, they get it again. Feeds it to Green. Embiid against Grant. Lock at six. Tries again. Shot is good off the back rim and in. 14 points for Joel Embiid. And this coaching staff loves to see that kind of aggression from Embiid. No hesitation on the jump shot. That's the mentality they want out of a big man. 
poked loose. Pass to Okafor. The dish to Jackson. To the right side. And the rejection by Curry. Green, the pass to Embiid. Here's Howard. And it's slammed in by Howard. The freight train coming through. Howard just powering into the paint. Piston shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Hayes, the pass to right. Now Okafer. He's guarded by Howard. Fader on the way. That one off the back iron and out. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Right outside. Back to Jackson. 143 left to play here in the half. And a foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. So for the Pistons, Plumlee comes in for Hayes. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for right. Bradley's checked in for the 76ers. Here's Jackson. Okafer trying to get open. Howard with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Curry passes to Bradley. And he bangs it home with one hand. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home. Another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. Some changes for Philadelphia. Harris comes in for Danny Green. And Simmons subbed in for Shake Milton. They better clear a spot on the bench for him because that's where he's headed if he continues to take shots like that. Yes, he is definitely going to the bench and maybe to the locker room. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for Detroit. That's tipped. There's 38 seconds left in the first half of basketball. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Howard. And it's Dwight Howard with the finish. And in his prime, one of the most athletic centers in league history. Howard hitting the gas that time. 30 seconds left in the first half of the game. Simmons against Rose. He kicks it to Jackson. Grant against Harris. Rose passes to Okafor. Just five on the clock. And Rose wide open. He shoots. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And here's Harris from the arc. Wow, huge buzzer beater. I did not think he was going to get that off in time one eye on the rim one eye on the shot clock ending the quarter the right way and so it's philadelphia enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see they've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense it's time now to go courtside as we send you over to david aldridge from the sideline david take it away hey kevin thanks joel you've got the lead so how do you build on that as the game continues uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, give us your take. Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. 
They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shot eight feet in it. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Detroit? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O-V-A. Over. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. One guy who's been getting it done is Danny Green. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steal. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We've got Derek Rose. Jeremy Grant is out there with Griffin. Then it's Plumley, And it's Makai Luke in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Pistons shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Makai Luke passes to Plumley. Here's Mikhailu. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That shot by Griffin, no good. And when he first came into the league, Blake Griffin's dunking made headlines. And while I'm sure he enjoyed that, he was also eager to show that there was more to his game. And the Pistons with possession. Passes to Plumlee. He doesn't hit that one, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. And you know, Greg, in the past, Griffin felt at times criticized as being a one-dimensional player. I, I tell you, Kevin, I think he's answered those critics. You, you look at his passing and his development as a shooter, one of the more complete offensive players in the league. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And stolen by Simmons. Puts up a three. Another three for Philadelphia. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Another three for Philadelphia. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Rose against Simmons. Tipped away. Howard with the steal. Three-pointer. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got 11 in the second half. Oh, great ball movement there. And there's the pass to Mikhailu. Back to Rose. Pass to Plumley. Knocks it loose and stolen by Howard. And here we go, Philadelphia running again. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Blake Griffin had two more knee surgeries last season. Pistons coach Dwayne Casey said that the year before, they rode him like a cheap horse, in Casey's words, to make the playoffs. Griffin acknowledged his load may need managing down the road, saying, I'm a believer in science. I'm going to listen to them and let them lead the way. Guys? Smart perspective. David, thank you. Knocked loose. Outside Rose. Floats one up, and the layup is up and in. Rose has got four points this quarter. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. And what a great start to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Pistons have gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. Rose passes to Mikhailu. Outside Griffin. To the middle. He's looking for Plumley and finds him. Misses from close range. 
And it's Harris with the ball for Philadelphia. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Rose passes to Plumley, and yes, it's good. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Green finds Howard, and it's Dwight Howard with the finish. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Here's Mikhailuk. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now the 76ers on the break. And it's Dwight Howard with the finish. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Now here's Rose. Ten points for him. And another steal for him. He's making history tied for third most steals in a single game. Incredible tenacity. He continues to hound the ball. The Pistons have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Detroit making a switch here. Lights checked in, and Philadelphia also making a switch. Embiid, he's checked in for Dwight Howard. Three. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Right outside. Pass to Makai Luke. And stolen by Thibel. Pulls up for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, again, just a lackluster transition defense. Rose against Simmons. Now Griffin. It's stolen by Harris. Now the 76ers on the break. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Bible's got 12. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Tipped away. MB drives in. And the dunk by MB. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. And, well, Detroit shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Pass to Griffin. And the pass to Mikhailu. Shot clock at five. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's foul number two for him. And Philadelphia making a change here. Curry's checked in. There's 154 left in the third quarter. Griffin trying to get open, and that one's good. Right. And Jackson is a terrific passer at that forward position. Fantastic at setting the table for his guys. It's good from long range. Harris has got seven points here in this quarter. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. Curry against Rose. And the rejection by Embiid. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. No hesitation. He just takes off and takes it the distance. Yeah, he's a one-man show in transition. Impressive play, taking it right to the rim. Curry with the steal. From downtown, another three for Philadelphia. Defense leading to offense. Another turnover and another basket. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Seven, six, six, ball. Well, there's no lack of range in this group. The leading three-point shooters among the ranks of the NBA's big men the last month. Tobias Harris, number one. Second, Joel Embiid. 
throws against Curry. From deep, he sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Curry's got 20. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside Rose and Detroit with another turnover here. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. Curry deciding where to go with it. This one for three. Another three for Philadelphia. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Rose against Curry. Floats it up for Rose. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's the three. And again, Seth Curry for three. Curry's got 12 points here in the second half. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Philadelphia ahead, running away with this one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And, well, Detroit shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Taking a look at the 76ers, they've got Shake Milton. Embiid is out there with Korkmaz. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Bradley in at the five spot. Here's Korkmaz. Detroit with the rebound. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Fast break, Philadelphia. Here's Milton. Gets the three-pointer to fall. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. And so it's Detroit with the ball. It's stolen by Milton. Pass to Korkmaz. Milton with it. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Curry with the three. Good. He's now got 10 of 10 from the field. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Curry. Here's Korkmaz. Another three for Philadelphia. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Now here's Hayes, guarded by Kerr. He swipes the ball away again. And, and you got to be careful around him. You no, know, Greg, he's been coming up with some incredible steals so far. Good on the triple. And every time you think he can't hit another, mm-hmm. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Pistons. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Can they get it? Korkmaz grabs the miss. For Philadelphia, they've gone an outstanding 4-5 of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. It's stolen by Milton. And here we go again, the 76ers on the break. And Curry with the stuff. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. 
you see the confidence running through this team right now. They get a hand on it. Now the 76ers on the break. Curry wide open. Another three for Philadelphia. I mean, you got to be honest. So the transition defense just has been lacking. Embiid with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Embiid, no good. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Stewart's checked in for Detroit. Ellington comes in for Josh Jackson. Then for the 76ers, Poirier's checked in. And Maxie's subbed in for Curry. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Bradley. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Go, 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 go. 76ers on defense. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. The 76ers have gone 7 of 9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Pass to Maxi. Now Milton. Poirier passes to Korkmaz. Shot clock at 6. A nice shot by Poirier. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Here's Maxi, Another three for Philadelphia. And they have been relentless from deep and you see the defense trying to react but to no avail you know what they talked about this at halftime and they're doing a better job of creating space that's tipped it's stolen by milton now here's bradley the fast break opportunity buries the jumper to finish the break you know guys fast break points right now in their favor and and they're really pushing the tempo And, well, Detroit shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Hayes with it. Here's Stewart. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And with a merciful bucket, he snaps a terrific run by Philadelphia. Here's Korkmaz. Bangs home the trifecta. Uh, late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage. Grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Knocked away. Bay passes to Ellington. Lock at six. And the shot is long. Philadelphia dictating the flow. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. For Detroit, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Ferguson's checked in for the 76ers. Terrence Ferguson. Here's Poirier, and he takes that one up and powers it through. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. 
Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And here's Hayes. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. Five on the clock. Now, here's Dumboya, guarded closer, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And here are the 76ers now. Here's Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Bradley. And now Philadelphia on the break. And the 76ers tack on two more. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. Poke loose. It's stolen by Bradley. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Yes, just sir. a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the 76ers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, th there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A, a clinic was put on display here today. And ever win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. For Detroit, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Now here's Hayes. Tight defense on him. And it's Doomboya in the corner. From down in the low post, it goes. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Philadelphia dictating the flow. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. A nice shot by Poirier. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the play. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. 40 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bay. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Hayes. Over Maxi. Hayes, no good. Here's Ferguson. Another three for Philadelphia. They just blocked out the noise kept on grinding and this is their reward and guess what it's going to be a fun flight home total team effort big win on the road to the wing on the left and it's blocked by bradley and he gets it back so it's philadelphia winning this one easily to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin, with Danny Green. And Danny, we know how good a shooter you are, obviously, but you have really incorporated defense into your game. Now, how important is it for you to show up at that end? Uh, very important. I mean, it helps the team a lot. My job really is come in, bring defense, and, uh, you know, a lot of energy. Well, mission accomplished for you tonight, Danny. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.